IPOP set for mass protests on Monday, target politicians are set Pope Francis prays for Nigeria. The pro- proscribed indigenous people of Biafra said its members would begin peaceful across the Biafra land on Monday. A statement by the spokesman of the pro Biafra group Emma Powerful has it the protest scheduled to hold in Benin, Enugu, Aba, Abakaliki, Imwaha, Inewi, Uyo, Kalaba, Onicha, and among other states, as a result of the killings, destruction, and burning of private properties across Biafra land. Powerful, who disclosed the protesters would also engage in a cleanup exercise to tidy up and clear the numerous mountains of rubbish in the cities, added measures were also being put in place to protect the lives and properties of innocent citizens from being attacked by rented hoodlums and political thugs. The group in a statement, however, stated assets acquired with looted public funds by corrupt politicians will remain legitimate targets. The group, while warning against deviating from the purpose and intentions of the protest, said, It is important to Note that anybody found attacking or engaging in arson or wanton, or wanton destruction of private property will be dealt with on the spot. Peaceful protesters will commence after the cleanup but will only be confined to designated locations. There will be no procession or street march. Marching on the streets will not be tolerated as not to give room for mischief, make, mischief makers to breach public peace. We are hereby issuing a warning that any hoodlum or rented thug found at the venue of any protest will be mercilessly dealt with by the people. We urge them to stay clear or better join us in the cleanup and peaceful gathering afterwards. Anybody found wandering near a bank or loitering with intent will be moved on. People will not be allowed to congregate near a bank or financial institution. No act capable of breaching the peace will be tolerated from Monday the 26th of October 2020 onwards. Protests and gatherings will be held, but it must be peaceful and orderly. No criminality of any form will be condoned, either from hoodlums, hide thugs, the police or the army. Everybody must be well behaved. It is our hope that protests across Biafra land and Nigeria must continue until all the demands made by the leaders of the NSAS movement met in quick time. The statements concluded. Meanwhile, amidst growing tension across the country, the head of the Catholic Church, Pope Francis Sunday, called for the prayers of, for the country. The Pope, in a tweet in his verified Twitter handle at Pontifex, called on everyone, particularly Catholics, to pray against every form of violence brewing in the country in the aftermath of the NSAS protest. The Pope, in his statement, said, Let us pray to the Lord for Nigeria so that every form of violence might might always be avoided in the constant search of social harmony through the promotion of justice and common good. Well, I personally believe that it's a good thing. Again, international recognition, kudos to the the online protesters and, you know, with their tagging and retweeting, of course, we've gotten the international community to look at what is happening in Nigeria, and that's a good thing. Um, For the protest, again... It's commendable how, you know, Nigerians are, you, you know, or IPOB actually, they're, you know, being tactical and smart about the whole protest thing and, you know, making a clear warning that if you are of ill intent next to a financial institution or any other banks, they will deal with you mercilessly in their own words. And again, it's very, very smart in the way there's, you know, no um, march because that would allow for, you know, thugs or rented thugs to come in and you know frame the protesters and also hijack everything which is obviously not the plan and again it's like to kill two birds with one stone by also cleaning up the community cleaning up the area just to make it you know more conducive for everyone to live in and you know it's a good thing i think nigeria is moving in the right direction and of course you know with protesting at in one place at a time and in designated locations then you know the actual the focus will be there and it would not be lost as well as you know the again they are protected in one area and of course you know it's happening in a lot of states in nigeria so that is very very good well the first um comment here says please don't include any of the six six south south states extraction as being members of your ipob 
restrict to your five south southeast states someone says and replies to this comment this comment got a lot of um, replies and the first reply says yoruba back card lagos is for the awaris not the yoruba no wahala is not a must those involved should participate there is no way Aqua Ibom can be part of this so called Biafra land, so restrict your protest to Southeast geopolitical zone. The thing is, it's not necessarily a thing about IPOB. Basically, in this case, IPOB is the one that's organizing this protest. So, us trying to bring in anything of, you know, inter, inter tribal or ethnic sort of identity, we're basically missing the focus of the whole protest. The protest is not about you, no one cares. We're voting, we're, I mean, we're protesting to make sure the country is better. So please carry your bad mind and go and sleep because that's not the aim. And stop trying to, you know, sow seed of discord. Because, of course, why, why are you trying to draw away from the conversation? The conversation is that we're going to go and protest, not that, oh, who is part of Biafra? IPOP is basically organizing it, and that's the only thing. It's like any other organization who, um, organizing a protest. So, Obviously, it's basically, it's a type of, you know, a type of um, organization where it's like, okay, fine, there's designated areas and this is where we're going to carry our protest. If you like, don't join. It's not by force. Another person says, you can only run into this rubbish on social media. Come out in public and make that nonsense and and can only run will rubbish in social media. But come out rubbish and make those, those red statements and see what you've done to yourself. Exactly. I think these people sometimes, you just come to the internet to come and chase clout and do whatever. But you can't be surprised because Nigerians on the internet are mad people. They will come and attack you. And you can't be you can't be aggravated because you brought it on yourself. And maybe that's what you want for your own sake. But mm. the next comment here says... Um, you want to reduce your population. Can is enjoying himself with his family somewhere while you're trying to commit suicide. Yeah. And someone said it is better to die in the battlefield than to die as a coward like you people. Exactly. And I love the change of mindset, the change of the selfishness attracted to everything. Because right now, Nigeria's Nigeria's a very diverse place. And of course, the thing bringing us or bringing everybody together is the anger, the passion, and everything that's going on. So we have to keep that and keep our focus clear and not say, oh, but this person, this person, no, we're all fighting for generations. I'm fighting for us to enjoy the land we're in. I mean, somebody made a statement. Is there anywhere else in the world that you can be black and safe? I mean, it's a different thing from the diaspora, you know, you're facing racial tension. That does not mean it's justified, but then even you would say Nigeria is like the blackest nation, the blackest nation of all, as in we're the most populous black nation on earth. And yet this is still going on. I mean, black people, you know, I, I think there's a, there's a lot of resistance in the international community, community on the potential that Nigeria actually does have. But also we need to take accountability for ourselves and actually change and do the right thing. Well, put what you think about this in the comment section below. And do not forget to like and subscribe.